All right, Pisces, let's see. The person on Pisces' mind, Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high, you are welcome into this reading for the sign of Pisces. Show me the person on Pisces' mind, please. What is their next move? What is their next move? When dealing with my Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Whoever you clicked on this video, the first person that came to mind, what is that person's next move, Holy Spirit? Angels and guides. Four cards. Queen of Wands. That's how you guys start off your last reading. Aries, Leo, Sag. Someone here could be taking action. Um, oh, Magician, Virgo, Gemini. Someone here is manifesting. Six of Cups and Five of Cups wanting to show itself. Something may re Somebody may regret something from the past. This could be someone who's a little bit witchy, okay? It doesn't always have to be in a bad way. Just um, someone who's a very pan powerful manifester. They go after what they want, and they create the outcome that they desire. Very passionate individual. Person on Pisces' mind. What is their next move? Knight of Swords coming in to communicate something. This could be some type of truth here. Um, justice. Oh, I just heard someone's. Someone may be coming in to balance out the scales of a situation. Libra energy. Someone may also be um, trying to battle someone in court. Okay, show me the Queen of Wands. Someone may be taking action. The hair font. Taurus energy. Someone may be coming in to tell you about some type of court situation. This could even be about a marriage. With the hair font card coming out. Or some type of contract or higher level of commitment. Show me the magician. Someone's trying to manifest communication here. Yeah, someone's trying to manifest some type of communication. They're moving very slow, though. Show me the Knight of Swords. Yeah, they regret something. Five of Cups coming out. Or they're uh, filling out an emotional loss. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. You have a king to the Queen of Wands out here. This is possibly a marriage between two fire signs or two very passionate individuals, two, two go-getters, okay? Yeah, the lovers. Somebody may have stepped out on their relationship and they may regret that. Someone's trying to manifest some type of communication here. I feel like someone may be having, with all this blue here and the way I just felt when I breathed in, it's like someone may be having a hard time speaking up, but I feel like someone's going to, it's like when someone thinks about doing something, they, they, uh, they slow themselves down. Not a swords, not a pen, not a coins. It's like very fast and then very slow. It's like someone like gets the courage to say something really quick, but then they start thinking, they overthink it. They slow themselves down. They try to plan and be strategic about how some something. It's like someone's trying to manifest something here. There is some type of sadness, some loss here. You have a king to the queen of wands. The hair font, the justice card. Someone may be trying to like manifest some type of higher level of commitment here. Someone may also regret something that was said out of impulse. Or someone may say something that they regret. What's this Five of Cups? The Nine of Cups.
somebody may have said something that uh was a little selfish. Is this nine of cups? Six of swords, eight of coins. Someone may have like moved away from a situation for work or someone may be relocating for work. What's this King of Wands? The Knight of Wands. Oh shit. What's this King of Wands? Three of Cups. Yeah. So this person, this King of Wands may have had like some type of third party energies or just uh, lustful in and out energies. I don't know maybe this person drank drunk drunk a lot <laughs> drank a lot what's this hair font over here hanged woman in the reverse someone's getting out of a partnership or a marriage possibly or someone's refusing to see something strength card leo energy someone's holding back or needing strength and courage to get out of a situation that had them feel stuck and trapped and bound. This is Knight of Coins. The Lovers. Gemini. Two of Cups. Yeah, okay, so someone here is trying to like get out of a relationship. Someone may have also received some type of an offer here. Someone doesn't want a relationship. They want multiple lovers. Again, I see that here. This feminine may have wanted a higher level of commitment here with this Queen of Wands, the hair font. Pisces, this could be you with this hanged woman strength card. Maybe you have Leo or Taurus in your chart or you're dealing with one. But I feel like you're holding back here because you want what you want. The hanged woman in the reverse. You, hanged woman in the reverse. You refuse to see something from any other way. I want commitment. I want a higher level of commitment. I know who the fuck I am. Queen of Wands. I'm very confident, attractive. You know, I'm a go-getter. That's your energy. Someone may be regretting something when it comes to you, some type of communication that was said, some harsh communication or some something maybe have, having to do with the justice system. Okay. Um, I feel like you're on manifestation mode. You're working on something. You're planning. You know, you could be dealing with a counterpart here, someone who, you know, King of Wands or Queen of Wands to the King of Wands. Like you could be dealing with the divine counterpart, but I feel like someone here still has third party energies. Okay. They're still in and out. They're still flighty. It, this could be a third party doesn't always have to be like other feminines or men's or whatever. This could, well, yeah, feminines or men's, but that doesn't have to be romantic. It could be family, friends, people infringing on this situation, work even someone may work in the justice system what's this nine of cups again i feel like you don't want i don't know okay show me the nine of cups i feel like you're getting what you want you're moving forward here in a situation you're moving into calmer waters yeah you're putting an end to a situation you've changed you've transformed you're working on something and it's growing you're getting some type of wish fulfillment. There could be some type of sadness here. Maybe there's some type of truth that you need to speak. This could have to do with some type of legal matters as well. Show me this justice card. Libra and energy. Seven of coins. Six of coins. Yeah, this may have to do with money. Equal give and take. Or something that's owed to you. Or something that you've been investing into. You may have spent a lot of time waiting for justice, trying to get your justice, equal reciprocity in a situation. And I feel like 
you, yeah, <laughs> I was about to say, I feel like you did that for yourself. It's like you decided to move away and, and focus on your own pentacles and change and transform a situation, a work situation or something. And there you go. King of Pentacles. It's like you've decided to like get your own justice. Someone here is very flighty. They're very in and out. This may be someone who rushes into your life and wants to reconcile and hang out or, you know, let's go out for drinks. Let's go out for dinner. Let's have a good time tonight. And then they're gone the next. This could be someone that there's like fatal attraction. The king of wands to the queen of wands. It's like very attractive. Let's get three cards from here and I'm going to close this reading out. I'm going to try and get a bunch of readings out for you guys today. We'll see though. We'll see how that goes. All right, let's get three. I do feel like this is someone's counterpart. Like, <laughs> what did I say? Lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. You do have the death card out here. So I feel like something, you know, something here is changing. And then I got twin flames, golden mirror, self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, and love bombing. And then twin flames, yin yang, zen balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other, and the runner on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so runner and codependent relationship, fear of in intimacy, and listening to ego. That's what this Knight of Wands is. It's like someone who's in and out. They run. This could be a twin flame. Just because someone's your twin flame doesn't mean you're meant to come together in this lifetime. Okay, someone here is a self self absorbed narcissist, one light one sided relationship, and love bombing. If there's something you need to speak your truth about or take some type of quick action to bring balance to a situation, don't hold back. You, like, if there's something you need to say, I feel like you should speak up and say it. Because you may have some regrets if you don't. Let's get one more. At addiction, oh, and healthy choices. So someone here may have had addictions, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block or restraint, and then healthy choices, making healthy choices in love, life, self-love, and self-care and being happier. So someone here may have, may have addictions, but they're choosing to make better choices, okay? Yeah, seduction and what was that? Stabbed in the back and date and seduction and the butterfly yeah so somebody here me about uh, unconditionally loving and giving recept uh giving affection and falling in love yeah i feel like you're you're looking for something that's more stable committed grounded here and you're willing to wait for it slow things down and manifest what it is that you truly want and desire this lover is in two of cups i don't really know why is the lovers here? My first initial thought is you don't want a relationship with this person because you you feel like they have other other lovers, and I feel like they do too. Knight of Wands, Three Cups, woman or man, whoever you guys know your story better than I do. Tarot has no gender. Okay, show me the lovers. Yeah, two of coins in the reverse. Someone here can't decide. Someone here, you know, may have been juggling, and you want someone to stop. Of swords, and you're making a head over heart decision to cut this situation out because it's not what you want, even though this is your soulmate. Exactly, you don't want to fight, you don't want to argue, you don't want to be feeling defeated, put in competition, or with rumors, lies, gossip, and all that shit. You're not fighting for this situation anymore. Five of coins in the reverse. This person may have felt made you feel left out of the cold, or maybe they did at one point, and Maybe the tables are turning. I don't know. Queen of Coins. Yeah. King to the Queen of Coins. King of Swords to the Queen of Swords. You want some... some and Knight of Cups. You could have an air sign or an earth sign coming in to offer you love, Pisces. You may not even see this coming yet, but this is going to be a very balanced, honest, truthful, committed, loyal, stable relationship here between two people. It's going to be very victorious. Okay. 
you're gonna get you're gonna get clarity on whatever was like being unsaid or whatever was causing confusion you're gonna get clarity on it here so i'm gonna leave the reading here if it helped give you clarity in any way please let me know smash the thumbs up button and i'll see you guys in the next one peace